हेलो फ्रेंड्स द लेसन फॉर टुडे इज रिवर्सिबल एंड इन रिवर्सिबल प्रोसेस अंडर द कोर्स अंडरस्टैंडिंग द बेसिक थर्मोडायनेमिक्स दिस इज प्रेजेंटेड बाय मी हर्षित अग्रवाल आई हैव ग्रेजुएटेड फ्रॉम एन आई टी नागपुर इन टू थाउजेंड एट आई हैव क्लियर द इंडियन इंजीनियरिंग सर्विसेज एग्जाम आई हैव गॉट द ऑफर लेटर फ्रॉम मोस्ट ऑफ द महारत्ना एंड नवरत्ना कंपनीज आई हैव क्लियर गेट एग्जाम रिगार्डिंग कोर्स फी देर इज नो कोर्स फी एज सच बट यू कैन ऑल्सो ऑलवेज कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट वॉट एवर यू फील लाइक यू कैन ऑल्सो फॉलो मी ऑन द स्पेसिफाइड लिंक to start with what is a reversible process students are very much confused about what is a reversible process and what is an irreversible process i want to mention reversible process is said to be a a process is said to be a reversible process if when reversed in direction follows the same path without leaving any effect on system and surroundings for example this is a process as i have already explained properties system surrounding process this is a process from 1 to 2 this is a process from 1 to 2 for example going from 1 to 2 there is minus 50 kilo joule of heat from the system i mean heat is rejected from the system which is around minus 50 kilo joule and from 2 to 1 from 2 to 1 heat is added to the system that is plus 50 kilo joule so the net heat effect net heat effect in the system is what 0 kilo joule because from going 1 to 2 heat is rejected from the system which is minus 50 kilo joule and going from 2 to 1 which is heat is added to the system which is plus 50 kilo joule so the net heat is what 0 kilo joule right so so this is a reversible process this is a reversible process a, fall, a process is said to be a reversible process which follows the same path i mean the path is same from 1 to 2 and 2 to 1 the which follows the same path without leaving any effect there is no effect as you can see the net effect is what 0 kilo joule there is no effect on system as well as on surroundings right we have, we have there is no effect on system from going 1 to 2 to the heat is rejected from the system which is minus 50 kilo joule and its heat is added to the surroundings which is what plus 50 kilo joule similarly from going from 2 to 1 the heat is added to the system which is what 50 kilo joule and heat is rejected to from the surroundings which is what minus 50 kilo joule but going from the same path 1 and 2 and 2 to 1 there is no net is zero in system as well as net is zero in surroundings this is a reversible process and keep in mind keep in mind all the reversible process are shown by continuous line this is a continuous line and all the irreversible process are will be shown by discontinuous line this is the main difference between reversible and irreversible process irreversible process means there is no effect on system and surrounding if you follow the same path if going from to and fro similarly a process which is not a reversible process is an irreversible process an irreversible process increases the entropy of the universe i will tell you how to calculate the entropy of a universe entropy of universe will always increase in a irreversible process keep in mind reversible process is the most efficient process reversible process is the most efficient process the most efficient cycle is the carnot cycle and all the process in the carnot cycle are the completely reversible processes all the process in carnot cycle are the completely reversible processes so so those so the most efficient process is a reversible process right cosy static there is a term in thermodynamics cosy static cosy means almost and static mean rest the process is done in very slow manner the process is done in very slow manner it is a cosy static process a process which is carried in a very slow manner is known as cosy static process cosy static means almost as as rest the process will be done in so slowly manner that you will feel that the it is almost at rest for example i will show you this is a piston cylinder arrangement this is the piston and this is the system having pressure p volume v temperature t and there is a weight kept on the piston as as soon as the weight is removed the piston will move up as soon as the weight will remove the piston will move up up right this is a instantaneous process this is a instantaneous process as the piston will move from this particular point to this particular point these are the stoppers right this is a instantaneous process but if i keep the so many n number of weights over the piston and we will remove we will remove one the with these weights one by one we will remove these weights one by one and the piston will move in a very slow manner till this point the piston will move in a very slow manner till this point such that 
to such that it happens slowly enough for the system to remain in internal equilibrium if we will do this process in a very slow manner the all the points will be in internal equilibrium they those will be in internal equilibrium and if there is no friction if there is no friction in a cosy static process if there is no friction in a cosy static process then those process is known as reversible process so we can write frictionless cosy static process is a reversible process cosy static basically means the locus of equilibrium point cosy static process basically means the locus of equilibrium point i mean if i will remove the weight one say this is point one if i'll remove point weight two this is point two if i'll remove weight three this is point three if i'll remove the weight four this is point four so there are four equilibrium points locus of equilibrium points is known as cosy static process but here the point one that is this particular condition and point to this but these are the equilibrium point right so the internal if we, we want internal equilibrium points this is a cosy static process the process which is carried out in a very slow manner is known as cosy static process and frictionless cosy static process is known as a reversible process this is a very important term thermodynamic cycle a system is said to have undergone a thermodynamic cycle if initial and final points are same for example the process is going from 1 to 2 this is one process and 2 to 1 is another process its initial point is 1 and its final point is 1 this is a thermodynamic cycle the process is starting with point 1 and the process is ending with point 1 this is a thermodynamic cycle and note and note note for a cycle change in property is equal to zero I, I have told you that property is an exact differential you can exactly find the change in property for example change in volume change in enthalpy change in internal energy similarly if i will tell you to find the change in volume of th this thermodynamic cycle we will write change in volume is equal to final volume minus initial volume final volume is what v1 initial volume is v1 so the change in volume is what v1 minus v1 is equal to zero change in volume is what v1 minus v1 is equal to zero so this is the change in volume and change in volume is equal to zero in thermodynamic cycle so if you will get the numerical and you sometimes students get stuck up how to proceed for a particular numerical see whether that this is a thermodynamic cycle and write for a thermodynamic cycle change in property is always equal to zero this is a very important term for examination point of view for objective point of view for engineering service examination for gate examination thanks a lot of from my side keep focusing on my le lectures I, I i can feel that you must be getting some feel for this thermodynamics topic we, uh, for queries comments are there you can ask queries in the comment section thanks a lot from my side this is harshit agarwal